Hello to everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to learn uh, I'm going to show you the basics of opening your ports, you know, enabling your ports so it can get online players for your any server, any game server, but especially uh, specifically for me online. So first of all you need to know which ports you need to open. So I got this notepad txt file. It says four 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 zero five for the joint server 55901 for the game server 55919 for the game server castle of the siege and 80 is uh, for the website if you're going to use uh, this can be could be a separate special you know extra port for your sub server and those ports should be in TCP and UDP but I'm not sure some people might say it should be TCP but for me UDP does work as well so in order to open those ports you need to go to start and open run and write command or command cmd and you're gonna get this thing so right here you should write a p config and uh, I'm sure you're gonna find just this uh, ethernet adapter local relay connection uh, but if you have installed Hamachi or uh, local adapter or something then it will show you another IP numbers and such but we need uh, the one that you're using with your internet connection that means your router should be connected to the internet and it should be this one for me for example I use this IP for my server for example and this is LAN IP the LAN LAN IP so in order to op open the ports you need to copy the default gateway you know mark it and right click and open the browser and just put the IP on the browser URL then you put some you know password if you have you might have password for your router or modem you might not have anything but it's I think it's it has to be some password there and you can google the, the router you use and you know open open uh, some you know find the password for it but I'm sure if you bought the router there are some instructions on the box where you bought it so you see here that's my router and I'm using WLAN, WLAN but it doesn't mean that it's wireless it ju it's just uh, the connection that I could use but for me it's the LAN so this is my IP and as you see we can open ports if we go and search for port forwarding so I'm searching here SMG there and you see I got here port forwarding and you see I open this ports here right the most important thing is to enable them from here there should be enabled the uh, option and let's say we need to add one okay so we need to put here click there and click to port forward you should use uh, HTTP I mean those here doesn't uh, doesn't use anything but just use a custom one and right here 192 168 we should use this one this IPv4 v4 address that means the point one point two is the cable line that is connected with your computer and your router so we just put it there and you should put the ports for example here let's say 55919 55919 and you can use UDP I, that's what I use and, and that's it you don't need anything else you just click port forwarding active like enable it and save 
and as you see you just open your port but remember it has to be on the LAN IP that you use that's why I I, I, I wrote here IP config to find the uh, IP before address the, that your computer is connected to and yeah that's uh, that's what you should do and let's say uh, that your ports are not opening or something because you got no not the option or don't know it doesn't all open that means maybe you got wireless connection and some wireless routers I guess doesn't have the option or it's or it's uh, already open but you need to open the ports through firewall so let's uh, go away from this side and you should go to start and write firewall for example then you can go here windows firewall with advanced security if I'm right and here I think we can enable ports and applications so let's say you want to because if you buy a host hosting or you know VPS dedicates or you're not able to do that so you go to the firewall settings and click on the new rule and port click port next and choose UDP or TCP for example UDP and let me write the specific port 55919 uh, click next allow the connection next domain private uh, public whatever you like I think it doesn't make any sense because you're going to open your server online so it should be public right next uh, you can write GC CS which is a castle switch or anything and finish and then you need to do it I think you have to do it as only on the outbound rails so you do it here click port next UDP 55919 Oops. Uh, click next allow this connection you saw it was blocked when you need to allow it and click next and you can leave it like that so my uh, next GCCS castle switch and click finish now your port uh, 55919 is 100% open it 100% but if you need to check if it is open it you will need to go for example I'm going to um, use our files so let's say this sorry let's say these uh, files from the team and let's say we need to start the server right okay let's start the server we go to mm, data server first of all and then we go to data server 2 and then we go to the connect server the connect server is a important part of the of making server online because if you go to settings you see 44405 it's the port that we need to open. We need we should open and that's why I opened before. And let's say I open on the other IP, for example. You see here port forwarding four 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 zero five. And the IP is different here, which I use one point two and here is one point one hundred fifteen. And we need to change it, this one because maybe you change the cable line and you change the port so 1.2 and save now if you go to www can you see me the rg uh, and write 44405 you would see it's success it, I can see your service on the IP on the port USB is not blocking the port and that's how you open your port which is a really easy thing you just you need to google your router if you don't know the uh, passport credentials and, and yeah that's it that's the most of it and like I said if you are run if you want to run your server just for you 
you will need to use just the LAN IP, which main IP is 192.168.1.2. And that's it. You don't need anything else. And uh, that's it.